do want to get to our top story. And that breaking news overnight, the United States announcing it will evacuate hundreds of Americans who have been quarantined on a cruise ship in Japan because of the coronavirus. But not everyone will get to come back home. NBC's Janice Mackey Freyer is in Japan with the very latest. Janice, good morning to you. Kristen, good morning. There are hundreds of Americans on this cruise ship waiting to hear what happens next. How is it that this evacuation plan will play out and how long will it be before they're actually home? This morning, a plan to evacuate Americans from a cruise ship quarantined in Japan for nearly two weeks. The U.S. Embassy sending a letter to passengers offering a way home on chartered flights back to the U.S. Bittersweet relief for hundreds of Americans on board for what was supposed to be a dream trip. We should just go home and count our blessings and, and come back another time. But only healthy passengers will be allowed to board the flight. That will take them to Travis Air Force Base in California where they'll be quarantined again for another 14 days. And for those who don't take the flight, a state of limbo. The letter saying only they will be unable to return to the United States for a period of time, which is complicated for Mark Jorgensen, who for days with his wife, Jerry, had made the most of their confinement. They give us plenty to eat. Until today, when Jerry was told her latest test for the virus was positive. This must feel really out of the blue. It really does. And I think karma has a sense of humor, too, because we I actually posted something kind of downplaying the, the virus and saying, what's the big deal here? It's, you know, the odds of getting it are so minuscule. Why is everybody freaking out so much? Jerry Jorgensen is among 67 new confirmed cases on the ship, with officials revealing more than half of them showed no symptoms and at least another 200 are potentially high risk. We need to balance the health and welfare of the people on that ship. And, that's, and they are from many nationalities, against the obvious need to prevent any further spread within the Japanese community. The Moleskis are still waiting for their results and told us by text it's a little nerve-wracking to be anticipating a knock on the door from a hazard-suited quarantine official. The evacuation plan appears similar to what was done to get Americans out of Wuhan. What we know from Japanese officials is that a plane will land at Haneda Airport, which is about 20 minutes from here. Everything else in terms of logistics is up to U.S. officials. They say that passengers will be taken by bus and they will be tested for symptoms before they're allowed to board. And then they'll be tested again when they're on board. And then when they land, there will be more tests, all of it, of course, to ensure that they're in the clear. Kristen, Peter. Story that has so many people still concerned. Janice Mackey-Frayer, thank you for that report.